this question was given in gate 2021 electronics and communication in paper to which you have given a carrier signal which is amplitude modulated by a single tone sinusoidal message signal with modulation index 50 percent and later one of the carrier and side bands are suppressed in the modulated signal so you need to find out the percentage of power shift the NPT reference for this question is principle of communication system by professor Adit Kejavanathan so the useful data for this question is if you have given a message signal m of t as a of m cos of omega m t and c of t as ac cos omega c t where omega m is frequency in radian per second of message signal and omega c is the frequency of carrier signal so you can write amplitude modulated signal s of t as ac 1 plus m of t cos of omega c and in the frequency spectrum its frequency spectrum will be given by 1 carrier at omega c and upper side band at omega c plus omega m and the lower side band at omega c minus omega m also the total transmitted power in this amplitude monitor signal will be given by pt equal to pc times 1 plus mu square by 2 where mu is your modulation index which is given by am by ac so if you expand this equation then you will get pc plus pc mu square by 2 so this is your carrier power and this is your total sideband power total sideband power if you divide it by 2 then you will get power in usb as pc mu square by 4 and lsb as also the same pc mu square by 4 so if this is your pc then it is your pc mu square by 4 and this is your pc mu square by 4 so this is the frequency spectrum of amplitude modulation signal so in the given question you have given the carrier and one of side bands side bands are suppressed So, in the frequency spectrum, as you have seen in useful data slide, this is your omega c and its power as pc, and this is your USB power, it is pc mu square by 4, and this is your LSB power, that is omega c minus omega m which is also pc mu square by 4 this is your omega c plus omega m so if you suppress one carrier and one side band then the total power total power same to be pc plus pc mu square by 4 so this much amount power you have seen so the percentage of power saved will be given by total power saved total power saved in carrier and lsb upon total transmitted power total transmitted power so this you can write pc plus pc mu square by 4 divided by pc into 
1 plus mu square by 2. So for mu equal to 0.5, this value will be given by, this percentage will be given by 94.4% power is saved when you are not transmitting one of carrier and one of side. So the correct answer for this question is 94.4%.